everybody welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a dramatic winter holiday time look I've been doing this look a lot lately because I just I really love the way it looks and it is actually using the Anastasia subculture palette I did want to do a video using this palette I said I was when I did the prism palette because I picked it up at the same time but I didn't want to do a video like talking about the amount of fallout in it or anything like that because we all know that's how this palette is. They are softer packed shadows so the fallout is, it is bad but honestly the pigmentation of these and the blendability of these are just so amazing that I'm okay with the fallout. I really wanted to use these lashes too. These are the... I Lore and Nicole Guerrero Faux Mink collection lashes. They just did a whole another like release with their YouTuber series. Um, each vlogger released a Faux Mink lash and this is the Nicole Guerrero one. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. I wanted to use those, this lip color and the subculture palette and show you guys this holiday look. This is a more dramatic one. This can definitely be worn with a nude lip as opposed to a dark lip like I did and you can also add wing liner to this but I don't really care for a wing liner so I didn't do the wing liner. Also I'm going to be doing a more softer natural holiday um, makeup look coming soon. This one is just my more dramatic one, the one I've been loving lately and I think it's perfect for the winter slash Christmas time. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to add now. <laughs> so I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so I'm starting off by priming my eyes with the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer and then going into the Too Faced and I Want Candy palette and I'm going to be dipping into Banana Cream Pie and Ice Cream, the two matte cream shades at the bottom and mixing them together only because the Subculture palette does not have a matte cream shade so I'm just using that to set the primer down. And then going into the Subculture palette, which I was really excited to use obviously, the first color that I'm going to take to put in my crease, it's actually going to be Fudge, which is kind of dark to start off with, but this is just how I've been doing it. Definitely tap off the excess. This is a really pigmented shadow. I did have trouble at first getting it to blend. It did kind of like skip on my eye, but switching between different blending brushes, I did get it to blend out very nicely. They are very pigmented shadows, but they are kind of patchy sometimes. And then going into Mercury to kind of deepen it and give it just a little more dimension because this does kind of put like a little bit of a grayish brown into it. I'm kind of putting this above fudge so you're not completely losing fudge and and then I'm just going to keep blending a little bit so these two colors go together seamlessly. And then I'm going to go into this color in All Star. This is a really pretty maroon um just a very deep shade and I'm just showing you the amount of fallout with this but as you know this palette does have a major amount of fallout so you definitely want to tap off excess when you're using this palette and I'm just taking this into the cre outer crease and then on the outer part of the lid and just really deepening it and blending it with this color mix when you do this it kind of mixes with the brown shades that are already on the eye and turns it a little bit purple but I really like the way this looks because later on you're going to build it up more and the maroon shade will come out more. And I really pack this color on the lid and in the crease um, just so it's there because this is my favorite color with this look. I really love the maroonish burgundy. It's very Christmassy to me and especially with the um, shimmer um, shade we're going to put on it's going to look really pretty. Now I'm just going back into the two matte cream shades and putting it under my brow bone and kind of cleaning up what's in my crease, the edge of it, so it all looks and blends nicely. Now I'm just taking some primer water and spraying my brush and dipping into Adorn in the Subculture palette, which is next to All Star. It's really pretty. You can definitely just leave it with this glitter, um, this shimmery color, but I'm going but I'm going to add a little bit more glitter to it here in a second. But this is definitely a really pretty color um, on its own. 
it is just not as bright gold as I wanted. It's a little bit more of a coppery gold, but I wanted something brighter. And I'm just really touching that up, making sure it's packed on as much as possible. And now I'm just adding more of the color in All Star, kind of blending out the, um, the line between the glitter color and All Star, so it's not such a harsh um, stop and start of the colors. Now I'm taking this Stila Magnificent Metal Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Rose Gold Retro. And I'm just going to lay this down right on top of that Adorn shade, and it's going to give me that brighter, more glittery gold look that I wanted. And I'm putting this on with the applicator, and then I'm going to take a brush and kind of move it around and blend it. I try not to move these around too much with a brush because if you start messing with it too much, it is going to have a lot of glitter fallout on your face. So try to use it to where you're not having to mess around with it too much after it's on your eye. Now going back in with All Star to blend out between the glitter and All Star again just to make sure everything blends well and looks so seamless. It's not just a harsh um, line between the glitter and the matte color. And then I'm going to take the Too Faced and Candy Johnson um, Black Licorice Eyeliner and do a very thin line on my um, lid. And then I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Beige and highlighting under my eyes just to brighten that area up a little bit. And then I'm just taking a... Um, sponge that I dampen with some primer water and blending that out. Now taking two of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundations so I can get my perfect color. And the way I like to do this, I like to just pretty much highlight and contour with this. So I like to take the lighter colors in the places you would normally highlight. So on the forehead, um, the part of my jaw, pretty much everywhere you're seeing me put it now, and then taking the dark, darker color and put it where I would normally contour, and then just blending it all together like that. And I like to use the Morphe Y6 brush to blend this foundation into my skin. This is really the only brush I like to use for foundation. It's just very nice. Now I'm going to be taking a Shape Tape in Light Neutral, which is a lot closer to my skin tone, and just putting it in areas that I want a little bit of extra coverage. And then I'm taking the Candy Johnson Banana Pudding Powder and putting this under my eyes. I eventually go over this with a different powder because I didn't like how yellow it looked under my eyes. And then I'm taking the Tarte Smooth Operator Pressed powder. This one is a tinted one in light and setting my foundation with this. I really like this. It's very smooth um, and it gives a little extra coverage on the foundation and this is actually what I put under my eyes on top of the banana powder so it doesn't look so yellow under my eyes. Then I'm taking the Tarte Park Ave Princess Bronzer. This is the matte one and just bronzing up my skin. I don't really contour, um, but I am going to take some of my face powder here in a second and clean up under the bronzer to sharpen it up a little bit. Now I'm just taking the Makeup Revolution Matte Blush, and this one is in the color Nude, and putting this on the apples of my cheeks and blending it back a little bit into the bronzer. And then I'm going to go back and finish my eyes, and pretty much I'm just taking every color that I put in the crease. So I'm starting out with fudge, and then I'm going to go into a little bit of mercury, and then a little bit of all star, and just smudging all of that under my eyes, and um, just making sure it all blends nice, just so the bottom of it can blend well with the top. And then I'm taking the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Black, and tight lining and lining my waterline with this. And then I'm curling my lashes, and on my top lashes, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And for my bottom lashes, I'm going to be using this Ulta Beauty Legendary Lynx. Now I'm just going to blend that powder under my contour and blend out my bronzer and blush as well. 
I'm taking this LA Colors strobing palette and this um, highlighter right here and just highlighting my face with that. These highlighters are okay. They're not as bad as I thought they were going to be. But at the end of this tutorial, I realized I didn't really like it. So I ended up going over it with an Anastasia one from the Sugar Glow Kit. And now for lashes, I'm using the Ilor and Nicole Guerrero Faux Mink ones. These are the newest one in the collection. And then I'm going to be using the NYX Slip Tease and Bang Bang for my lips. You can definitely do a nude shade for this, but I really liked how this maroon shade matched the maroon color on my eyes. Okay, so that is actually it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel so you can have more holiday tutorial, holiday theme tutorials coming your way and some more reviews on the gift sets and stuff like that. So just definitely be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and turn on the notifications so you'll be notified when I do post another video. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys except I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.